never know what you're going to find with cameras. And this morning I went to our local, one of our local charity shops, which occasionally has cam have cameras, but as a lot of you have probably discovered in the last few years, um, hospitals and um, charity shops have got rise to the fact that cameras can go for quite a little bit of money and they are inclined to quite often put the top end on which is understandable um, and I think we have to appreciate charities have to make money and if something is worth a price then put that price on. Um, however, some, as I said, it's normally the top line um, and you can often buy cheaper, to be honest, on eBay and in camera first. But you never know and it's always worth having a look um, and you might be very prepared to pay that price. For example, this morning I saw a Seagull Chinese camera which I really liked but they had £100 on which I thought was a little bit much for the camera. However, in the same shop they had this lovely lovely box right and it's a box for as you can see on is a cine kodak now the cine kodak was the first eight mil kodak camera cine camera cine cameras really became popular from about 1922 with the pathé kodak bought out a 16 mil but 16 mil which is about that ride was expensive and in 1932 they bought out this camera now i have had i don't know about 10 of these in my time um bought in different manners but I have never seen one in the box. So this was in the box. And I wasn't, and if you can see in the box, there is a handle, a rewind handle. And if I take carefully out, we have within the cardboard, this wonderful, camera. We also have the instructions and again I will do some I will do some stills on this but it's in beautiful condition. Um, it really does look like new. Um, I've never seen the lens look so good. Um, you wind it up on the side To operate, you move this forward, or is it back? I can never remember, it's down. So there's a button that moves down. And you can probably hear that lovely clockwork motor. And I would say that is as sweet as it was probably when it was new. That is quite incredible. Sometimes the oil, does the lubrication dries up. But that is not bad at all. So you can see the side here with the winding handle and the on off switch. The lens is a 3.5. Um, it's quite a nice lens and it tells you here how to set it. Bright, dull days, bright days, um, slightly cloudy, direct and intensely bright. So you simply set that there. It's a fixed focus lens, so um, you've got no focusing to worry about, um, just the aperture. And what I think is clever as well is the viewfinder doubles from the handle. So we've got the handle here and we'll just look through and read the viewfinder. Later models you could take the lenses off, I don't think you can on this one. If I open it, we are in for a little treat, I think. Because the design of this with this big cog around here is aesthetically, I think, really, really nice. Um, it takes, as I said, eight millimeter film, which was introduced in 1932, and eight mil really became the standard for the cine effusias for the amateur. And what happens, you can see that the spool is 16 mil. You put the film through once, and it exposes half the width of the film, turn it over, 
just the other half and then when you send it for processing they would strip down the film down the middle and you would get back 50 feet of film. The film actually only lasted about three minutes and it was moderately expensive but it was a lot cheaper than the previous 16 mil film and 8 mil you can still just about buy 8 mil but it's quite complex to um, develop and it is quite expensive to develop so unfortunately I haven't been able to put a film through this I would be quite confident to put a film through and it would I'm pretty sure I would be delighted with the results as I said I am absolutely delighted to find a camera in such fantastic condition it really does look like it's just come off the production line it looks like it's all ready to go out and shoot especially with the wonderful art deco box i do like to try to put a film through but i've been able to do this this time but these are lovely things to collect um, a real part of history thanks for watching